If you use GCSE Pod alongside Google Classroom, you can now quickly and easily post GCSE Pod content onto the Google Classroom system. If you're not currently using GCSE Pod, stay to the end of the video to find out how to learn more about this learning platform. There are now four types of GCSE content that you can post onto Google Classroom. A single pod to zone students in on a very specific area, a playlist of pods covering everything they need to know about a whole topic, a check and challenge assessment so they can independently test their knowledge, and an assignment built to measure progress and provide teacher insights. So let's first look at sharing a single pod. From the teacher dashboard, use the navigation to search by subject, then by topic, and then by subtopic. To the right of the pod that you want to share, click the three dots icon and then click share pod. Click the Google Classroom logo that will appear here. And if you're already logged into Classroom, you can then simply select your class from the drop down, choose what type of post you want to make. For example, you might want to post as an assignment and then the assignment will be automatically created, complete with the topic name and the link to the relevant GCSE pod video at the bottom of the, the page here. Fill everything else in as you normally would and then publish it. When the student clicks that link from Google Classroom, they'll be logged in automatically to GCSE Pod via single sign-on, and that uses their Google credentials to sign them in. They'll then be taken straight to that single pod, ready to start watching. Next up is a playlist of pods. For this, we go to the same sort of page, but click share and assign, and then share pods. Repeat the process of clicking the classroom logo and then choosing your class and then choose your post type. The link to GCSE Pod will once again be added automatically to your post shown here. The difference with this link is that when the students click on it and get logged in, it will take them to the full playlist of pods so they can learn all about the topic area. Next is sharing a check and challenge assessment. Once again, click share and assign and then share check and challenge. Pick the check and challenge that you want to share from the drop down list and then click the Google Classroom logo. Follow the steps as you did before to publish this on Classroom. When the student clicks the link from your Google post, they will be taken straight to question one of that check and challenge assessment. Finally is sharing an assignment. For this, you'll need to first set your assignment on GCSE Pod, and you do this through the assess and then the assignments area. The easiest way to set an assignment on GCSE Pod is to use our specialist written ready-made assignments here. Pick a topic area and your assignment will be built with you, ready with the pods and the questions for the students to answer and watch. All you need to do is pick a class, and publish it as shown here. Once it's published, click to share it with students and then select the classroom logo as before and just follow through the same on-screen instructions. You'll need to find the corresponding class group on Google just to make sure that your assignment goes to the right students. This time, when the students click the link from Classroom, it will log them in automatically and then take them directly to your assignment on Jesus Pod. Really easy. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to contact our support team at any time. And if you don't have a Jesus Pod subscription and want to learn more, please visit our website where you can arrange a one-to-one -one demo or attend a webinar to hear all about how GCSE Pod is used for blended learning and for use with Google Classroom.